Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today, if you've not been here before, I'm Kavina and I thrift a lot and I take you guys with me. So today we're headed to the Green Shed shop here in Canberra, Australia. So basically everything at that shop is $5 or potentially $4 if you get um, five items for 20. So we're gonna head there, see what we can find and then I'll come back and show you what we get. All right, here we go. So I'm going to dive straight into it and show you what we got at the Green Shed shop. So starting off with this super, super adorable um, A-line skirt. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell probably in the camera, but it has a sparkle thread throughout. So perfect for me. And um, it's a Portman's brand. So definitely lucked out with that. So that's Portman's. And I got this for $4 since I got um, five items for 20 I went with my husband, so he got the fifth item. Then I got um, a couple more skirts. So I got, um, firstly, this skirt. So it just has this beautiful, really subtle, um, like really, really light purple on it that is just really gorgeous. And this one is also Portman's. And so that's Portman's brand. So again, another very cute skirt for $4, and I'll show you what that looks like on but very happy with that. And then I got this skirt, which I debated getting in the store just because I tend not to like anything that looks like faded. So it looks kind of like a faded watercolor, which is part of why I like it. I mean, honestly, the colors are very me. It's blue, pinky, purple. Um, and the reason I wanted to get this is because I have a skirt that is basically like a more um, pigmented version of this. It looks a little bit darker than this. Um, and so it looks basically not faded, um, but it doesn't fit me and I just, I know the only way I'll be able to get rid of it is if I get something that can replace it basically. So I got this skirt, it is Tequito. And so again, $4, I'll show you what that looks like on, but I mean, it's a really flattering skirt. I just wish it was like a little bit more vibrant because the way, the way you see it in the screen is pretty much how it is in real life. Like it's really, um, it's really light colored. So. 
that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but um, I definitely am going to miss my other skirt. So here's hoping I can actually get rid of it instead of hoarding another skirt that doesn't fit me. So um, hoarder tendencies are a problem in this house. <laughs> so then the next thing I got was this shirt, which, what brand are you? Ooh, eyesight problematic. Blossom? It looks like Blossom. I can't read that and it won't focus in the screen. It is a very light font. Anyways, I think it says Blossom. And it is just this like uh, tube top-esque shirt. Um, you can put straps in it if you want, which I like about it. Um, and it also has a silicone detail along the top here so that it clings to you the way it should. So very happy with the fit of that. It fits me like a glove. Um, it's very, very cute on. I'll show you what that looks like on. But very, very happy with that um, top, um, blossom top apparently. Very, very fitted, will look very, very cute, especially with like white pants. I'd love to rock that outfit. So we shall see what that looks like on once we have slightly warmer weather. And then, I got this next thing off of um, Facebook Marketplace, but, oh wait, before I show you that, I can't remember if um, I showed you this last time. I feel like I did, um, because I feel like I already remember explaining to you that I like these shoes that I got for $5 at the Green Shed Shop, um, and they're Wayne Cooper, and they have this tie-up detail at the front, but you can just make it look perfect, and then a zipper at the back. I'm just zooming through this just because... They were sitting here, but I really thought I showed you guys these already. So I got this, they got these shoes at the Green Shed Shop, and I was just going to um, clean them up with a magic eraser. Those things that you can get, they're literally called magic erasers, and you can just, um, they clean everything. So I was just going to grab magic erasers and clean um, the shoes a little bit so that they're less scuffed. Um, and that's possibly why they're sitting here, and so possibly if you've been here before and you've watched a thrift video before, you maybe have already seen these, but I couldn't remember, so I thought I'd show you again because I'm very happy with these and can't wait to wear them. Alright, so now that that's done, back to Facebook Marketplace. So, um, Facebook Marketplace is so dangerous for me. I'm part of so many Facebook groups and um, the Marketplace is like this constant addiction for me. But because, like, obviously you get, like, those recommended ads um, from time to time on Facebook, um, I got this one as a recommended ad and, like, I just had to get it because it was just such a brilliant price and exactly what I've been looking for. But I'm going to foreshadow now that this does not fit me. So this is the cutest. Like you can see all the Diamantes. They're just so beautiful. So this is the back of the tube top. And then this is the front. And like in theory, I would have thought that this fit me um, because it just looks nice and long and it feels like it should fit me and I just want like I want to wear this as a bra like if that makes sense I wouldn't just wear this as a top I'm not that kind of girl um, but I want to wear this as a bra for my backless shirt so they would see this at the back um, unfortunately and it's Meshki it was so nice Meshki um, brand which is very expensive and it came with this matching skirt like so but I think, and so I got the whole set for $10, and it's so beautiful, and normally I'm really opposed to, like, paying more money um, to, you know, make things work for you, but I love this so much. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Um, if you guys know anywhere where I could buy something like this, like, with these kinds of straps on the back, like, I just think this would be such a beautiful detail on the back of a backless shirt, because um, I'm just not wholly comfortable with just like my back rolling around completely empty like I, I need something for my I mean I know you can wear like sticky front bra thingies but I just want this <laughs> so anyways this is just so crazy beautiful to me so I think um, despite my normal rule of not wanting to pay more money on my thrifted items um, and get things like hemmed and stuff like that I think I'm gonna potentially take this meshki skirt the top that the bottom that came with the top and see if I can take it to a tailor and see if they can just like lengthen out the top of this using this material because um, the skirt um, doesn't fit me either so um, 
Yeah, I'm sadly very firmly a medium and no longer a small. So, sad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's so beautiful. Hopefully I can figure out some sort of way to keep this and wear this just because this is exactly what I want. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming it'd be pretty easy just to, like, even, like, grab one of my bras, like, existing bras, and then just, like, put this on the back of it. Um, but I'll take it to a tailor, see what they say, but I hope that this can be turned into something because I love it so much. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really hard. Like, what do you even search if you're looking for this? Like, Diamante strap back bra top crop thing? And so I haven't been able to find anything that has, you know, straps like this in the back um, because I assume that I'd have to search for tops, not bras, because nothing came up for bras. Um, but if you do know of any bras that have these kinds of straps on the back, like, it's so pretty. Um, and then, or like a crop top, other than this mesh top, um, that has that, let me know. Because I'm very, very excited to wear that once I somehow, like, it doesn't even remotely fit me. Like, there's like a good, like, like, like this section of, like, like a whole hand's worth of it not fitting. So it's not even remotely fitting. All right, so then next and last but not least, I got these therapy sock boots. So I've been looking for sock boots forever. Um, I've kind of given up on finding one with like a stiletto heel, which is my preference. I'm really not into the block heel, um, but um, these are sparkle. Um, sock boots and so I really couldn't say no and they're brand new in box um, never been worn um, but yeah like just a really really gorgeous material um, very very comfortable and I actually think because I'm going to New York soon during winter time I'm gonna need some actual shoes that um, are good for walking and um, I know normal people wear sneakers and stuff I don't do that so I'm gonna need some um, basically boots to wander through um, New York um, and Montreal because I'm also going there um, so I think this might be a good solution I mean it's not the greatest for snow but yeah no I don't really have many boots that are weather appropriate for Canada anymore so oh well so those were $15 off of um, Facebook marketplace and they came brand new in box and they were originally $80 and so the lady basically bought them never wore them um, and then, yeah, therapy boots, $15, brand new, stinking cute, can't wait to wear those, um, and very happy with that. So that is my entire haul for today, so hopefully you saw something you liked, and thank you so much for watching, and if you like this kind of thing, feel free to like or subscribe, because I post every week, twice a week, um, every week there's usually a thrift haul, um, and then I do other things like um, uh, grocery shopping hauls and paintings that I paint. Um, and um, I probably actually were going to the Lifeline um, book fair soon. So it's a book fair here in Canberra, Australia um, to support Lifeline, which is a mental health um, support uh, like phone line for people to call in if they need help. And so, with mental health, and so we go to that every year, um, they have three events a year, and we go nuts. This is where we get all of our books, so all of these are thrifted books, we don't buy them new. Um, and so this, the Lifeline Book Fair sells most of their books for about $5 each, um, and then on the last day, they have a sale at the end of the fair where you can just fill a bag of books for $20. So we go multiple times to this book fair when it comes on, so I'm probably going to go there and possibly show you. I don't know how exciting that would be for other people, but we'll give it a go. Um, and if it's something you guys like, I will definitely do it again. Because um, like I say, I go multiple times a year. And I could probably make my way through the books and show you what I've gotten over the years. Um, if that sounds interesting, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, if not, feel free to like and subscribe anyways, because there's plenty more other stuff. And um, we'll see how we go. I kind of get an idea of what kind of things you guys want to see based on posting. So, um definitely we'll just keep posting and I'll definitely do more of the cruise videos that I do because those got um the Costco ones and the cruise ones are weirdly like the most popular thing on this channel um like thrifting is definitely the regular thing that I do on this channel but weirdly whenever I post cruise stuff or Costco stuff like lots of you tune in so thank you for that very excited to see you if you've um 
not been here before, feel free to subscribe. It means a lot to me um, and encourages me to believe that I'm not just talking to myself. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!